everybody, my name is Sean McDonald, uh, Sean Mac McDonald, as people know me. I am 22 years old. I'm originally from Augusta, Georgia, uh, the home of James Brown and Sharon Jones. Uh, but I now live in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which is about 30 to 45 minutes from Nashville. The music that I do is, I do a lot of traditional blues. Uh, some of it's kind of, you know, on the edgier side, but that's just because that's how I play it. But it's a lot of traditional blues from the late 40s to the early 60s, a lot of stuff that encompasses the 50s. Uh, things such as, you know, a lot of things influenced by Bobby Blue Bland and Louis Jordan, T Bone Walker, and early BB King, and a lot of those guys that came out. But there are also a lot of things by guys that were more underrated musicians, such as Bill Jennings and P. Guitar Lewis, and things such like that. So, yeah. Blind head, good looking, trying to get me hooked. Want me to marry, get a home, settle down, and write a book. Uh uh. Too much funky business. Too much funky business. Too much funky business for me to be involved in. Same thing every day, getting up, going to school. No need in y'all complaining, your objections overruled. Hey! Too much funky business. The music, I, I would say, um, somebody told me at one of our gigs recently. He was like, you play too complicated. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, I prefer simpler playing. And a lot of my music is influenced by, like I said, more musicians who were jazz influenced, like a lot of the guys that came after Charlie Christian. I love those guys. So a lot of jump blues guitar players and saxophone influenced guitar players, me being a saxophone influenced guitarist myself. Um, I try my best to sound as much like a horn as possible, but it's it's still, you know, it's still raw blues and, you know, very traditional blues, but some of the lines might be a little more, you know, oh, that's that's something, you know what I'm saying? So it's um Things like that, and you know, sometimes I'll throw in. I have a you know a really good sense of musical humor. Um, I get that from listening to Bill Jennings and my favorite, one of my favorite guitar players is Junior Watson from California, um, who's also a good friend of mine. But he influenced a lot of why I play the way that I do and how I play the guitar. You know, so you throw a lot of that stuff in, and um, you know, it's it's it also. You, listening to guys like like I said James Brown a lot of the guys that played with him and as far as rhythm is concerned and growing up in church and singing in church that also has a little thing to do with it so quartet guitar and stuff like that so that's also a huge part of my sound as well but it's all one big musical gumbo you know and you'll hear it tonight when y'all see the clips because he said he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna film it so I'm pretty sure you'll you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. Like I said, it's traditional, but it has a little bit. It's like a okay, that's all right, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. A lot of people get blues misconstrued and they feel like okay if it doesn't fit in these 12 bars or if it doesn't sound like Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf in 1955 then it's not the blues which is far from the truth um, because like I said I listen to a lot of the, the guys that played jump blues and jazz influenced blues and things like that that's what tickles my fancy um, but you, you have to realize that blues is not monolithic and so uh, it's not just this one thing or you, you know it's, it's not just Stevie Ray Vaughan influenced or Albert King influenced and things like that because I'm there's much more to it than just that you know I'm, I, I'm highly influenced by Stevie Ray and Albert and you know the, the guys that everybody names but I also like I said I love guys that, that were under the radar and didn't get as much notoriety as they should have or didn't record as much as they should have and so they're not as known as everybody else so 
to me it's an array of things it's you know it's the hollows from charlie Patton. it's it's uh it's it's robert lockwood's rhythm playing it's it's uh it's the distortion of guys like willie johnson pat Hare, and pete lewis and tiny grimes um you know it, there are a lot of things that go into this it's it's uh it's it's the growl of Coco Taylor and Big Mama Thornton. You know, it, there's so many things that go into you know what I like about the blues. And drove my mother stone blind. Hold on, I gotta do the last part. I gotta do the last part. I gotta do the last part. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch, 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 watch. Y'all gonna like this part. <laughs> 